Hi friends, Miss Sims here again. So today I wanted to do another science experiment. So in class, we've been talking about liquids this month. And liquids are things that can pour, like soap or oil. So it pours, or one of the most popular one is water. So liquids, one thing is that they can pour, but another thing is that they always take the shape of whatever you put it in. So here we have a different shape bottle than our oil. And if we take something like our water and we pour it into a mug, it now takes the shape of the mug. Okay, so it pours and it takes the shape of whatever container it's in. So today we're going to do a little experiment called cornstarch mud. And this is a pretty fun experiment. It may make a little bit of a mess, but it's not too hard to clean up though. So you're going to need some cornstarch. It comes in a box like this. Sometimes it comes in other bags too. And you're going to need water. Okay, so we're going to start out. Oh, and you need a bowl and a spoon. All right. If you don't have those, you can always pause the video and grab them and come right back. All right, and I'm gonna show you how to make cornstarch mud. All right, so here I have my bowl, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some cornstarch. Now you can make different amounts of cornstarch mud, but I'm just gonna start with a small batch. So I'm gonna put a couple scoops of cornstarch. Cornstarch is actually a powder, and this is actually a solid, but it's a really tiny, tiny bits of solid. Okay, next I'm going to add some water, and I'll use the water that I just put in here. Put a little bit of water, and there's more cornstarch than water in here, okay? There's about twice the amount. I'm going to start mixing it together. Now, it's hard to see, but as you start mixing it, it kind of starts looking like a liquid again. You hear? It's starting to take the shape of its container. And we still have a little bit of solid left here, so I'll have to keep mixing. Now you might notice when you go really fast to mix it, it's hard to mix. Okay? So you have to keep trying, but if you slow down, it can be a little bit easier to get through. Kind of feels like quicksand or mud. Now, I have a batch that I made up earlier right here. Now, as you can see, it looks like liquid. It's moving from side to side. I could pour it from one thing into another. I bet I can pour this amount in. Yep, it's pouring in. But there's something different about this. When I poke it, my finger doesn't go in. It's almost like it's solid. I poke it with the spoon really fast. It doesn't go in either. And when I pick it up, this is the fun part. But pick it up. It gets really hard to pick up. But then it turns back into a liquid. Oh, this can be fun to play with. So this is kind of in between. It's like a liquid, has properties of a liquid, but also properties of a solid. And if you go really fast, take a bunch, you can make a ball back and forth really fast in your hands. Then if you slow down, oh, I'm trying to make it really fast so you can see it. I have a ball here. See the ball? Then when I stop, turns back into a liquid and it just floating through my fingers, which is really, really cool. <laughs> so friends, try to make some cornstarch mud at home. It is a little bit messy, but it's a lot of fun. See you later.